This your boy Big Creep. Yeah, you already know what it is, man. What's happening, bro, bro? You not rocking with the chaotic vibes. Yeah. A DJ C Chaos. On IndioRadio.com. Check, check, check. You already know what time it is. Chaotic Vibes Podcast. DJ C Chaos. I'm in the motherfucking building. And I got a special guest. Lil Bam, what up? What's going on? My man Lil Bam came out here from Birmingham. Yeah, yeah. Birmingham. My man took the trip too, boy. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I appreciate you falling through, my nigga. Appreciate you for having me, dog. Introduce yourself. Let them know where you, who you are, where you from. I was on Lil Bam um, from Birmingham, Alabama. Well, I'm from Avondale. Avondale. I ain't, I ain't from Birmingham. I'm what, from Avondale. What is, what is Avondale? It's a difference. <laughs> uh, Speak on that shit. Yeah. I'm from. Because everybody tell me you from Birmingham. So yeah, I'm that? from Tom Brown Village. What is that? What is so is it's that a, not in Birmingham? Where is that? That's its own city? Yeah. Okay, it's just close to Birmingham. It's, it's in Birmingham, but it's... it's Birmingham like, surrounding us. Oh, you know, okay. Gonna say that. Okay, okay. I feel you. you. Know, it's like all of them in I feel <laughs> you. I trust me, I understand. <laughs> I do. So, like, what's going on, man? How you in, How you end up in the A? Shh. Ain't shit going on in Birmingham. Yeah. Bro. And it's, the, it's like right next door. Yeah, yeah, that's it's, true enough. Atlanta, Atlanta, like I escape plan. Yeah, that's real. From Birmingham, it's just the fastest way you can get the hell on. Yeah, I ain't mad at that. Why everybody like like Birmingham is get, getting such a bad rep right now? Yeah, like, ain't nothing to do yeah. in Birmingham but die. Yeah, that's it. Some shit you, right there. I'm telling you, for real. Yeah, you can't like. It's easy to like go out of town and be the man and shit. It's easy yeah. to be the man anywhere. Yeah. Not in Birmingham. Yeah. Your ass gonna die. Them folks gonna get on your ass. What the hell y'all got going on out there, man? It's just everybody. I don't know. I don't know. It's just the way people think. Yeah. It's just the way people think. And it's like, it's normal. So when we go out of town and shit, and when folks just walk up and be like, what's up? Like, we be on peace. Like, we be ready to kill some damn battle. But they just speaking. That's, that's, It'd that's, be hey, that y'all remind me of New York then, because. Yeah. That shit. Wow. The first time somebody walked up to me, I, I didn't understand it either. And my first day here, I, I remember a dude walked up to me at the store. And, like, he he was asking me for a dollar, but the whole time I'm watching him, like, what the fuck, dude? Yeah. Keep looking at me for. Yeah. But he wasn't even on that type of time. Though. Yeah. So I said, I guess I got to chill. It's you got to fall Different environment. You got yeah. Is that like, is that, a, is that a hard transition coming from that environment? It's an it's a easy one. It's an easy one, but it's just like, it's still in you, so yeah, feel. that's a fact. That's a fact. But it's but it's it's easier though, cause it's like, it's easier to just chill, and not be on the bullshit all the yeah. time. But when you, when you go back home, you gotta turn it right back on. You gotta be back on fast. Yeah. Like you can't, you miss a second, you out of here. That's and that's crazy, cause for Birmingham, like for me, to me, to me, Birmingham is such a small spot. Like we go out there and do. Um, the fuck is it? We do, we do volcano out there once a month, yeah. and um, it's such a small spot. You know what I'm saying? Like we see some of the same people just yeah. about every month. It's small as hell. Everybody know everybody. That's yeah. why it's so bad. Like it's. I it's I would think that's like the the harmony part of it. Like shit, I know J- JJ yeah. and Ray Ray and my niggas. Like we yeah, grew up no. together. Is the folks you folks you grew up with end up being the folks you fall out with, like being toured with? Yeah. Like. In Birmingham, it'd be crazy. Like, you have folks with, like, blood cousins. They be trying to kill each other. I swear to God. They, them folks be in tour with each other. Like, That's wild. they don't even know each other. And they, like, grew up in the same home. Yeah. That's just how it is. That shit it's wild. a lot of, a lot of um, hating and crime shit going on. But it's normal in Birmingham. So, so how does that affect the uh, the music scene? Because we was just talking, and I was just like, damn, like, I wonder why Still, like, no real music it's a lot out. of It's a lot of good Artists in Birmingham, it's just, I don't know. Is it like, like lack of shit. outlets or something going on out there? It's just crowds in the bucket. Yeah. That's all. Everybody feel like, like you just, it's only one person can be at the top. Yeah. So, you feel me? You're gonna knock your ass down. Yeah. Then try to move up and just keep, it go like that. It's like it's a, a circle. Cycle. <laughs> So like, what 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 keeps a person going out there? Like, if you if you're trying to do music, it's like shit. What what's what's the next best thing? Uh, Cause we we had a couple shit, glimpses of yeah. you know we had the Dobies and what do you say Rich Boys. Once you get it's just getting people to fuck with you. Yeah. Coming from from Alabama, period. Yeah. Getting people to fuck with you because 
Don't nobody be paying no attention to us, real. Facts. Uh, That's a fact. And on the music tip, like I feel like right now, I feel like Alabama artists is finna just do some big shit. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Like just yeah. being out there and seeing the shit, like it's it's talent. It yeah. just I I be so confused as to why like one we so close. Yeah. So why I don't see y'all niggas out here? And then two, it'd be like, well, shit, even see, out here. A lot of Alabama folks just country here don't be want to go nowhere. That's a fucking fact, too. You just don't want to leave. Like, yeah. even me, hell, I moved away. And, they, like, even now, I still can't stop going to Avondale. Yeah. Think. It's just, we just country here. What we know is what we know. We don't yeah. want to learn nothing else. We don't want to see nothing else. Yeah. It's that. It's just. Motherfucker just keep running back to it. Running back to it every time. It should be dumb as hell, but we do it. Hey man, we all fall for. I still go to the projects every day. Yeah. But um, so how how did you get into music? Like, what what was your beginning point with this music? Cause you young as a motherfucker. Yeah. I start at first. It was just like just playing. Like, yeah, okay, I know how to rap. Okay. Coming from a little boy, like we used to. Me and my cousins used to rap. Put like a time shit. stamp on this little boy statement because. Like I was like. Eight years old okay. when I first started. And okay. I remember I, I, had, I, I gave myself a rap name, K9. Mm -hmm. When I turned nine, <laughs> on some corny shit. Because I was, I was nine and my, and my name started with a K. Yeah. So it was on some corny shit. I'd had I so many different rap names. I'd had so many different rap names. But it was like, I never, I, I stopped taking this shit serious. I stopped. I gave up on it because it was like, Shit, wasting my time. I can be doing yeah. something else. Yeah. So then I started focusing. I was playing football. Mm -hmm. So I started focusing more on football. Then I went. Yeah, I, I got, got the a college bit of football and scene than a rap scene. Oh, hell for yeah. sure. In Alabama? Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> Everybody play football. <laughs> Even the fucking drug dealers got football stories. Yeah. Like highlights and shit. I swear to God. I'm talking about the people you would think that never would. They play some football. Yeah. Everybody did. No matter where you from, <laughs> play football is just life. But that shit was like, it became more of a, just something I knew how to do. Yeah. But then, after the football shit stopped for me, I just. Like after high school or you went to a little I bit of college? To, I went to college, but I ain't never play in what, college. What college I, you I go left, to? I went to Cumberland. Okay. In Tennessee. Okay. I, um, I left out the camp. So after that shit, I knew I wasn't going back. So yeah. I just. My brother and I was telling me, like, you can rap. Why yeah. not fucking rap? Yeah. So I started So this rapping. is fairly recent then? Yeah. I just started rapping, like, well, seriously rapping, like, some months ago. Okay. Yeah. Like, so, seriously taking it serious, but you've been bullshitting yeah. since you was eight. I was fucking around, like, at first I was doing shit, like, making videos, putting videos on Facebook and shit. Yeah. And them hoes was going hard. Like, I had put some shit on Facebook from, like, I think in the ninth grade. Yeah. And folks were still sharing the shit, like. Two years after that, mm -hmm. then the whole page just ended up disappearing. So I reported the fucking page. I had a lot of videos, a lot of videos folks was fucking with. Yeah. And folks still to this day be like, remake this song, remake this song. Yeah. You know what the fuck that shit is. <laughs> yeah. That's a fact. So, bam, just a couple months in the game. Like, it's always it's always interesting, like, the couple of cases that I do come across, it'd be like, I just started rapping six yeah. months ago and it'd be like, shit, six months from now, you're going to be fucking yeah. on the charts somewhere. Like, how do you how do you keep up with that and how do you handle those types of transitions? Because... See, I don't really pay attention to it. Yeah. Like, folks still had to scratch to me, like, you a rapper now. Yeah. <laughs> I still don't be paying shit no mind. Like, I just be... Doing you. Being me. Yeah. Everyday shit. Like, I, I still be having to remind myself sometimes, like, you're a rapper now. You're a rapper now. Shit be different. Like, when folks walking up to me and speaking and shit, like, yeah. oh, there go Lil Bam. That shit still kind Tell of, you all. Oh, man. I'm the same way. I don't like people yeah. coming up to me, talking to me. I got to get used to the attention. I hate attention. But this shit be fun, though. <laughs> I just hate it. I don't like people just knowing who I am. But, but are you not, like, because um, I've heard things about like a bam day in alabama yeah. and things like that so it seems like you're already popular yeah. where you from see a lot of people always knew who i was mm. you feel me like all over birmingham people know who i am mm. but i don't i don't interact with people like if i see you i speak and shit yeah 
But the shit like little Bam Day, I wanted to do something for the kids though. Okay. So talk about that. Talk about yeah. what it is and how you started it. I got um it was just an idea, like sending the prize, I was I was just thinking like cause they it don't be shit for the kids to do. Yeah. So then when they try to make it like, okay, they doing all this bad shit, this is all they wanna do, this is all they- this is all they fucking see. Yeah. It ain't nothing else to do. They took all the playgrounds out of the projects. Mm-hmm. Literally all of them. Yeah. So it's one playground. They don't get to go to that playground. The mm-hmm. kids don't get to go to the playground. So it, if all they see is these folks standing out here with their guns and smoking weed and yeah. doing this, woot, woot, that's what the fuck they're going to want to do. Yeah. They're not going to want to do that. It's like you seen when we was young, we seen the older kids was playing football. The older kids were playing basketball. So that's what we wanted to do. Yeah. You feel me? Just to be. Like them. Yeah, just to be So cool now, that's all they see. That's all the fuck they want to do. Mm-hmm. So, like, I just feel like they need a, a positive influence. Even if I can't do it, like, I don't know, better than the next person, I, I feel like it's just a small little bit. That it's enough. Yeah. So it's, what? So what is it? Like, what is it that you do for them? Like, me, I, I'm in the practice all the time. Yeah. So when I, the little kids see me and shit, like, I... I just do shit I, I wish folks did when I was little. Yeah. You feel me? Like, I, I talk to them. I actually have a conversation with them. I play with the kids and yeah. shit like that. Shit folks don't do. Like, you know? like so, like, Lil Bam, there you get, like, uh, the jumpy house, uh, yeah. funnel cake. Yeah, it was like, uh, we had moonwalks and shit out there. Okay. Uh, and train rides and shit. The basketball game. You had train shit. rides in the projects? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I ain't yeah. mad at that. It was, uh, I ain't mad at that. It was, that shit was actually fun. Yeah. I, I I found myself like wandering towards the uh Yeah, you wanted to play around. I wanted shit. to go get in the moonwalk and shit. But I ain't get in that motherfucker. Ah, nigga, you got to put, get in that motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, I was tired as hell from the basketball game and shit. Yeah, I ain't mad at that. Yeah, but I, I like this shit though. Mm-hmm. Like the turn out of it. Cause see, when I was we had people that influenced that they used to like ride through the hood and throw money and shit. And that shit they used to have. Everybody just, everybody just excited, like, you feel me? Somebody just ride through the hood throwing yeah. money out the car. Hell yeah. I'll never forget that day. I ain't going to say his name. If you've met him there, you know who he is. You just ride through. It was like eight different cars. The motherfucker sitting in the window of the truck. I don't know how the fuck he was driving that motherfucker, but he just yeah, coming down the street, just throwing money. Everybody on the block chasing the money. <laughs> My going fucking crazy. And I was like, no. Nah. I ain't gonna do that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna do that shit. Hey, yeah. You gonna figure out another yeah, way to make that motherfucker way. work. Yeah, we gonna we gonna do some shit though. Yeah, yeah. That shit was fun though. It turned out good. Shout out to that man. Shout out to you for starting something like that so early too. You know what I'm saying? Before yeah. even having to have a big record, like you already giving back, and yeah. that's that's super dope. So I want you to explain to the people what the MBK 4L is because I see that a lot, and that's. Honestly, that's one of the reasons I got hip to you because we went to Birmingham. Shout out to uh, D325. Um, we went down there with him and did a show, and y'all posters was every yeah. fucking way. And that's just kind of how I got hip yeah. to it. Then I just started seeing y'all online and everything. So we, it's a new label. Okay. But uh, you're going to hear a lot more about this shit. Yeah. It's going to be, I feel like this summer here, this summer here going to spark a lot of shit. Cause, like I say all the time, it's a, it's like a, a family, and you get, you get different shit from every artist. Mm-hmm. Also, it's a bunch of y'all. It's like, it's me with, they, they we got a, a couple artists. Everybody hard. Mm-hmm. If you ask me, if you ask me, everybody hard. Yeah. Um, I can sit and listen to everybody. Yeah. You feel me? Like wit, wit, sing his ass off. I say that every time. <laughs> I fuck nigga hard. Yeah. And they they just they they just they they yeah. There's no other way to explain it. I really wish they had they could be here. Yeah. Cause I can't I don't know how to like speak on everybody. Yeah, you can't do that for everybody. But that shit just. So the just, the what what's, what does the letter stand for? My brother's keeper for life. Okay, my brother keeper for life. That's yeah. a regular label. Yeah. And it's a bunch of y'all, but you the you're the forefront. You're the focus right now. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. So I'm just, just doing my shit. Yeah. So however it go. However it come out. Yeah. I just, 
Somebody got to do the shit. Yeah. Somebody, whoever it be, whoever pop first. Yeah. The rest of them coming. It's a it's a package deal. Everybody coming yeah. with that shit for real. So um, I seen, like I said, I seen y'all. Y'all did the big concert down there. Like, what yeah. was that like? Like, is that like an annual thing or? It was a. Uh, it really was. A, it was a birthday bash. Uh-huh. It was a birthday bash. Um, for the radio station. Now see my. My birthday, my birthday was coming up. Oh, it was um, your birthday bash. Yeah, my birthday was my. It was right after my birthday and Rollo, Rollo mm-hmm. birthday too. So okay. Like something for both our birthday. Okay. So this is something y'all just put together on your own. Yeah. It was a birthday bash. <laughs> y'all have your own yeah. birthday bash in yeah. Birmingham, and then you come to Atlanta and tell me that you don't like people and you don't like being popular. Man, see, it's just I like. I don't want to, that's why I said I gotta adjust to it. Yeah. I gotta, I gotta get. Sometimes I had to step yeah, out of being myself to be Lil Bam, cause now, myself and what now, do this shit. I, I'm, I'm gonna paint the picture for the fans who yeah. weren't there. This is, I, I'm assuming this is kind of like you guys' stadium of some sort. It was like it was, it was uh, a, it was a BJ, concert. BJCC. Venue. It was a, it's a uh, like a. Events on one of the main. Yeah, it's like it, it, it wasn't it wasn't no small situation. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> and, and this is your birthday bash, and and we had little baby, uh, Hood, Pablo Hood Juan. Rich Pablo Juan, Key Glock, Key Glock, for your birthday. Yeah, <laughs> and you sitting here telling me you don't like attention and popularity. I don't. Your birthday was a fucking movie. <laughs> it just. Your fucking fly was up and down the goddamn street. Yeah, it was street. every fucking well. But that's why I say I had to stop being myself sometimes. Yeah, take yourself out it of it. Because it'll close a lot of doors for my is it Is it surreal? Do it feel like it's not even happening sometimes? Like I said, I don't pay attention to it. It don't even be feeling like what it is. Yeah. Like, most people be like, oh, you doing this, you doing this. And to me, it'd be like... I just did right, that. Finish. That's just whatever. Yeah. I listen. Let's do this shit and get it over with. Yeah. Type shit. That's what I don't like attention. <laughs> I, I, I really don't even I don't even go to clubs. Do you do you not like performing? Um, You'd rather be in the studio or something? I would rather I would take the studio over performing. Yeah. Honestly. Cause I can make my music yeah. and just chill. Just put it out. I ain't gotta deal with it. Type of vibe you gotta have in the studio. Oh man. <laughs> Uh, Speak on that shit, just, folks. Want to know? I just gotta be loaded. If I'm loaded. Yeah. You got it. You got it going on. If I if I got what I need in there, <laughs> just a little a little boost. Yeah. You got it going on. Okay. It won't even take long. Just a good a good beat and some medicine. I'm <laughs> tell some shit down. I ain't mad at that. So let's talk about choo choo. Let's get yeah. into choo choo right quick. How did that come about? It's just a fun song. I um I just listened to the beat and at first I didn't know how I was gonna yeah. come on the beat. And the shit was just it just came off like I don't write. Yeah. So it just I honestly don't know. Mm-hmm. It was just a fun song. Yeah. I was just having fun. Introduce that motherfucker on time. Let's get into it. Oh shit, you just got me off. You just gotta introduce that motherfucker one time. Lil Bam Choo Choo, let's ride. It's NDO Radio, ho. Chaotic Vibes Podcast, DJ C Chaos, Lil Bam and this motherfucker with me. That's Choo Choo. Now, the crazy part is that's not even the record that I'm catching, like I caught the wave on. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's just the record that I got from y'all after we had a conversation. Yeah. But. Like I said, like I, I called D and was like, Lil Bam, that's your people's like I know you from Alabama. Mm-hmm. Anybody in Alabama I always call D. The only person I know from Alabama that knows people for real. <laughs> yeah. So I called him like, yo, he's like, Yeah, that's my little man, this that and the third. I'm like, okay, cool. Like, what else he got? And they just start flooding my shit. I'm sorry. <laughs> See, I'm a little baby here and yeah. records here, Paul Walker here. So it's like, you got a wave. Yeah. But how how did how do you feel like you created that wave? Not even being from, like, you're not even from Atlanta. You haven't started rapping only a couple. So, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait. Before we get to that, you only rapping a couple of months ago. Mm. Your birthday is a couple of months ago. 
Mm-hmm. Like around that time is when we saying you started rapping for real? No, 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 no. I had that. I did the the birthday best. Like it was like two or three months in. Yeah. Me, Shit, right? that's around the time you yeah. start motherfucking rapping, dude. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was yeah. in the first few months, though. Yeah. That's big shit. Like, and is that the first birthday bash concert thing y'all did? Yeah. That was the or first one. Coming out the gate, like, <laughs> with a head that start. Shit. God damn it. That's a motherfucking head start. So, yeah, like I said, yeah. how do you feel like you built that buzz in such a short amount of time? Or uh, is it just your natural popularity from the city? Shit. I guess it's natural. Like I, I never did the, like, posting shit and tagging a yeah. thousand fucking people. I never did it. Yeah. I, I never could get into that. Yeah. It's just, I mean, I just let the folks who fuck with the folk. I fuck with the people who fuck with my shit. Yeah. And I, I gotta keep getting them that shit. They ask for it. Everywhere I go, I can't even go to the store. Yeah. I promise you. Anywhere I go, when you dropping some new, when you dropping some new shit, when yeah. you dropping some, I be like, damn. <laughs> What the fuck? The shit I just dropped ain't. Good yeah, stuff. it ain't so hold I, you. I gotta come with some old shit. But yeah, on on, it just come. It's just natural. It's just natural. It's just natural. It surprised me still. Yeah. That I have fans like. <laughs> I still, it still be hard to process the fact that I got fucking fans. You know, you know, you gotta give them a name now. Like, you know, Future got Future Hive. Like, you're going to have to, yeah. the little bams or something. You're going to have Man, to give them something. I don't know what the hell. <laughs> I'm going to call them people. <laughs> I, I love y'all, though. I don't know what the hell to call them for, though. So, like, what was what was some of your early inspiration musically to get you even into this game like this? Like, what was you listening to? And uh, what, you, what do you feel like you give your salutes to when it comes to this music shit? Trio fan. Who? Trio fan. Okay. Is that Alabama? It's Louisiana. Louisiana. Yeah. Okay. See a lot of Boosie, Webby. Oh, I didn't know they had a name. Yeah. I just know the them fact, as Boosie and yeah. Webby. Excuse See, uh, excuse my, my South knowledge. It was, uh, See, in Birmingham, we fuck with a lot of Louisiana shit. So yeah. we grew up on a lot of shit like Louisiana shit. So... <laughs> I That's always said y'all have a like, y'all have an interesting um, geographically y'all sit in an interesting space where you yeah. can fuck with Atlanta, you can fuck with Texas, you can fuck with Louisiana. Like yeah. it all is like a like Alabama is almost like the connecting pipe. Yeah, see I I fought with Future hard as hell too. Yeah, like I fought with Future all the way from the 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 transition from the rock star shit. Yeah, to the that shit. That shit was amazing as hell. Yeah. Because I remember the man was rapping about, you feel me, having a stick under the couch at the yeah. whole house and shit. Yeah. And now it's singing and <laughs> doing shit like that. So that shit was like, all right. Yeah. So if he can do that shit, I can do yeah, that shit. More when I first started rapping, I wasn't even rapping like how I'm rapping now. Okay. It sounded I would, like I some Louisiana type yeah. shit. Because that's all. That's what you was listening to. Yeah. Yeah. So, but then once I, I was like, no, nah, I got to do something different. That shit ain't gonna work. Yeah. Folks gonna get tired of hearing that shit. Most so. definitely. And you had yeah. to find your own niche at the yeah. same time. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, me, I'm versatile. I can make any kind of song. Yeah. So I just said, fuck it. I ain't gonna put no, I ain't gonna be in no certain genre. I ain't gonna be no certain kind of artist. Cause I, I like different kinds of music. I always listen to different kinds of people. Yeah. So, I know what. Good music sound like in different ways. Yeah. So, so Bam got a, a singing record out there. You got an R&B record. You got a little little ballad. I don't know. I don't know if it's is it is it that song the R&B song questions. Yeah. Oh, I guess. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. See, I just be making songs. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like I just be making songs. 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 Yeah. Like just the beat. Yeah. I, I really don't know how to hear. I don't remember where the beat came from. Mm-hmm. But it was the only beat we had. Yeah. And we was in the studio, so I was like, shit. Might gotta well. do something. Yeah. I just made the song. Go. Ooh, folks got on my ass by that song now. <laughs> Why? Because. 
It's so outside of your character. Yeah. Okay. And they was like, uh, I didn't hear. I heard some. I was reading the comments and shit, and somebody was like, uh, he desperate as hell. Just <laughs> let that girl be a dancer, or some shit. And I was like, damn. <laughs> that shit was fucked up, hey. Yeah. We're gonna, like have, the to, song, we're gonna have to hear that song. Like folks like the song, like yeah. grown people older than me. Yeah. Man, they love the fucking song. Yeah. They love the song. Like, my dad had even called me like, boy, that song now, I yeah. you feel me? Folks were going through relationship problems and shit. You fuck with it. Speaking of, of different kind of beats and things of that nature, I see you got a lot of work with um Mook Tovin. That's my boy. And, and, and homie is on fire right now. That's so how did y'all link that up? See, I just wanted to work with him. Yeah. I was, um, like, I was I was just catching on to key shit. Yeah. And, you know, he on all key shit. Yeah. That's all you hear. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. So, I was like, man, I got to figure out who the fuck is Moot Tobin. Like, yeah. that shit, every beat hard as hell. So, I once I finally got to meet him and we worked together, like, that shit was like, the vibe was just natural. Yeah. I ain't had to tell this man, do this, do yeah. this, whoop, whoop. Like, the shit was like we was working like we had been working together for years. Yeah. So shit, I, I told like we we finna lock in. Yeah. Fuck that. We we gotta keep this shit coming. Like, me and bro, we FaceTime each other all the time. Yeah. And he he tell me like, bro, you so got it. You did got he do it. the whole project? Or? The whole tape. Yeah. Moot told. What uh what's the name of the project? Let Newborn. people know. Who? Newborn. Newborn. Yes, sir. Talk about it a little bit. Mook Tovin on that motherfucker. Exactly. Oh, that motherfucker really are no skipper. No, no every, bullshit. I listen to every it. Every last song hard. Every song hard. Every beat hard. It's that shit. For real. <laughs> it's that shit. Every song on there. We made sure it was that when did shit. You, when, did you, when did it drop? On the same day as Lil Bam Day. Yeah. I dropped the same day. It was... It really was a mistake. Yeah. The shit wasn't supposed to be out yet. You leaked it, you motherfucker, you. you it went. It. it was a mistake. Like when it came out, it was like two instrumentals on there. The shit was a mistake, but everybody loved it. Yeah. So I was like, "Fuck it, leave it on there." At first, I ain't gonna lie, I was mad as hell. Yeah. And I was calling around like, "Man, we gotta hurry up, and delete the shit. We gotta delete this shit." Yeah. But they was like, "We can't." Shit. Why you can't delete it? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I just said, "Fuck it." Everybody was still calling me like. Like, you feel me? Talking about the songs and shit. Everybody love the songs. And then, like, folks was, folks was DMing me like, bro, you got two instrumentals on your shit. Yeah. And I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. But shit, folks stopped complaining. They still, yeah. the motherfucker went and found the clean version and just ride to the clean version. I said, oh, this, that shit here. Yeah. We dropped a mistake and still went crazy. Yeah. And we got that shit going Newborn on. Newborn is out everywhere? It's everywhere. 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 Newborn. Newborn. Like a newborn baby. <laughs> you can't get it wrong. It's that shit. I'm telling you, every song on there. Mook Tovin did the whole shit. Let's talk about uh, Paul Walker. Paul Walker on there? Paul Walker on there. He's on there? Talk about it a little bit. Yes, sir. That song. That's, that's, that's my favorite song. <laughs> that's your favorite song? Why that's is my your favorite, favorite song? song. I'm, I'm really a fan of Paul Walker. Can't lie. The actor. I just, yeah. Okay. So, that shit was like, when I was... When I when I caught the vibe and I was rapping about the car, just shout like, oh god, yeah. I gotta, yeah, got to, yeah, and the shit just turned out so fucking hard. In the video, oh, <laughs> it's one of my favorite videos. Yeah, one of my, one of my favorite videos because I'm writing, the, I'm in the projects. Yeah, and the whole vibe is like natural. I didn't get fly. Yeah, I was just sitting in the project and said, fuck, I'm finna shoot the video. Yeah, I think I had on a a, a little small ass dingy tank top. I said, fuck, we finna shoot this video though. I swear to God. Yeah. Nobody, nobody had, nobody had went and got clothes for that video. Yeah. It was just like, Organic. we gotta, we gotta hurry up and shoot this video. We was just sitting listening to the song. We like, yeah. fuck it, we finna go shoot the video now. Yeah. That song, that I feel like that one gonna do better than Choo Choo for real. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Let's get to it then, goddamn it. Lil Bam, Paul Walker, right here, Chaotic Vibes Podcast. Let's ride. Chaotic Vibes Podcast, IndioRadio.com, Lil Bam, Paul Walker, right here. So, like like I said, like, you, like, 
there hasn't been a song I heard yet that I can be like, oh, not nah, like, that's trash. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And and then the wave is growing. Like, like I said, I don't, I, before yeah. we met at the dinner, we never met before. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We might have been around each other once or twice, but it's just like your your wave is growing. Like, what do you see coming up? What, what is your goals coming up in this shit? I really, I really don't want to be like a superstar. You don't want to be a superstar. <laughs> why, why? I've never heard an artist say I don't want to be the biggest artist. I don't. They go through the most shit. They come I with rather, it. I know, but I rather, I rather live like comfortable. You feel me? I rather still do what I do. Yeah. But be comfortable. So, um, so like, one or two hits and you go. Just collect royalty checks and do some shows. Hell no. <laughs> like, what, what are we talking about? Like, I enjoy doing music. Yeah. I, mean, I, feel I enjoy like... doing music. But. It's so, just... no superstar, though. Like, you got you to gotta cap your, your hits. Like, you can't have too many yeah. hits. If it, if it come, it come. But I'm saying that's not what I want. <laughs> that's not what you're chasing. That's not what I'm chasing. Okay. You feel me? I want to get in a position where I can, uh, yeah, like I said, I just want to. Live comfortable. Yeah. Is what it? the hell is comfortable? Explain comfortable. Everybody comfortable is different. Um, My comfortable is like seven bedrooms, five baths, basement, shit. couple cars. Yeah. Like you, <laughs> that ain't comfortable, nigga. You get to, you get to enjoy stuff. your life, man. When you get to enjoy your life, you comfortable. That's a million dollar if house. You ain't had to, if you ain't got to, like, you know, superstars don't get to live regular. Like, everything you do is like, it's put under a microscope. Yeah. Most Everything, definitely. even if it's the smallest shit that happened mm -hmm. every day, mm -hmm. just because you did it, it's a That's big a problem. That's a fact. You feel me? I don't want that. <laughs> I don't want that shit. As long as I can go without that, yeah. I'm good. But when it comes, I mean, I know it's going to come, but yeah. I'm enjoying I'm enjoying the, yeah, the process. I'm enjoying it. I ain't mad at that. I'm enjoying it. I ain't mad at that at all. I, so, I don't want that shit. So what's next? What you got coming up next? New projects, I'm working new videos. On, I'm working on a. I'm actually working on another project with uh, with Dre. Did it's a producer from Birmingham. Uh -huh. So I got a whole tape finna come out with him. Okay. And I'll tell him when. Okay. You might just drop them all fuck hard. out yeah. of the sky. Nigga. Just <laughs> just like the last shit, it might just come out of nowhere. Yeah. But it's some shit on there. Yeah. It's definitely some shit on there. What can we look forward to? Like, what what kind of vibe we looking at? Hmm. Let me see. The shit you just got. Yeah. Times ten. Yeah. You're gonna turn it up like that. Every yeah. time, every time some new shit come, it's gonna be. Now is this like is he producing shit. the whole project? He gonna the produce so it's like a collaboration? Yeah. I wanna work I, I Is I that really how you prefer? With, uh I like I like helping. Helping? Yeah. I like like if more people can be superstars off of, yeah, you feel me? Yeah, yeah. I already be like that. Yeah. Like me be able to chill with On somebody. some CEO shit. Yeah. Yeah. Type shit. Okay. I really, I wouldn't mind like getting rich as hell and just throwing my own label. Just yeah. get the hell out the way. Yeah. Let somebody else Let's, yeah. deal with that shit. You feel okay. me? Okay. You're not the first person I heard say that. That's, that's smart. Yeah. It's a smart business plan. Especially if you got the juice first. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, do you prefer to do collaboration mixtapes or projects? Because, it's, you know, Mooktoven did this one. And then what's, what's the guy's name you say? Yeah, uh, Dre did it. Dre did it doing yeah. the next one. Is that how you prefer to work? I like I like working like that because when you got, I mean, at first I was doing shit like I had a lot of different producers on one team. Mm -hmm. But it leads, like, the shit be all over the place. Yeah. So, I think it's better when you got one sound. Yeah. You got one sound, you get them. One thing and then you go to some different shit. Yeah. But I like I like working with different producers though. Cause like it'd be crazy how 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 they how they come up with shit. Yeah, most definitely. The shit they come up with, so I like like fuck it, let's do ten let's do ten. Yeah. It's it's gonna do a lot of the motherfuckers <laughs> right now. Knock the motherfuckers out right <laughs> yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, right yeah. now. Whatever like whatever the, the, the fast beats they can come up with right now, yeah. I'm gonna try to make the fast song out yeah. of it. That's that's just how I like to work. I don't. I really don't like the working with a lot of different people. Shit. Yeah. Cause some of the folks don't like. They really don't fuck with you. 
I like fucking with people that fuck with me. Yeah. Like, outside of the artist shit. Yeah. A lot of folks just want to make money. Facts. And you can you can tell the difference. Yeah. When you when somebody's just trying to make some money, and when somebody like genuinely fuck with you. That's a fact. Like I said, Mutovin still I had the blue FaceTime my phone. Yeah. We ain't even knowing each other long. Yeah. You feel me? And this man like, like give me words of encouragement, shit like that. Yeah. Me and Dre, I can talk to Dre about some shit. Mm-hmm. So them, like, them kind of people, yeah, yeah, we can do 30 songs. Yeah. One motherfucker project. I don't, I don't <laughs> give a fuck. We're going to put it out, and we're going we're gonna to let them folks know we got yeah. that shit going on. Yeah. Bro. Big vibes. Exactly. Big vibes. So other than the new project, what else we got coming up? New videos, new shows, more birthday bash. So, so much shit. Yeah. We got a million videos. <laughs> uh, as many birthday bashes as it's possible. Yeah. Shit. And... Every show I get booked for, I'm coming. I see it. I'm gonna be there in this zone. But you don't like clubs, though. What you talking about? I don't go out. I don't go out. <laughs> Unless I'm booked, yeah. I don't go nowhere. I ain't mad at that. I don't go nowhere. I sit in one spot. I sit, I sit in one spot. I ain't mad at that. That's, that's the best way to stay out the way, especially in these times. That's a fact. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So let them know where they can find you at. Give you, give you shout outs before we get up out of here. Yeah. Um, you follow me on Instagram, underscore Lil Bam two times, like two X. Mm-hmm. Um, shit, that's really it. I don't really got a lot of. I think I need to get on Snapchat and shit. <laughs> I ain't really. I ain't been fucking with Snapchat because um. So you telling me I need to get on this shit? Because um, this. when Instagram came out with that Insta Story shit, it was yeah. over with me. It was, See, it's just more convenient. I'm, I'm I'm just not getting comfortable with Instagram. Yeah. I was a Facebook person. Oh, yeah. You're yeah. a little behind. The little country people, we <laughs> yeah, still on Facebook, yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? So, like, still now, I be telling folks, like, you got to get an Instagram. Yeah. And they be like, what the fuck I need an Instagram for? Yeah. Like, I ain't going to lie. Like, now that you say that, when I do go down there, I be like, follow me on Instagram. I'm like, oh, Nobody have Instagram. fucking Instagram. That's wild. We still Facebook people. That's wild. I promise you. That's wild. It's on, It's a It's a select few people that's on Instagram. That's, that's crazy. Well. That's but, crazy. Yeah, so follow me on Instagram because the people at home ain't on Instagram. They ain't going <laughs> to. Even when I tell them to go follow me, they still don't follow me. Bro. Yeah. Yeah, hey, this all right. Fuck it. You got any shout outs before we get out of here? Yeah. Free soldier. Free my man. Free all, free all the bros. I'm, I, I'm just going to. I need y'all to pray they come home. All yeah. of them. All of them. Even if I ain't say their name, you don't know who they is, just say just pray. In your prayers, say Lil Bam home, boys. That's locked down. Just say that. Yeah. And bring them home. Them the only shout outs. Them the only shout outs. I don't want them boys to feel like they forgot about. Yeah. And it's been a minute since I've been able to do some shit for them. So, yeah, do that for me. That's do that for me. Fuck that. I need some folks to send them boys some better, <laughs> some pictures and shit. Do that. That's a fact. Yeah. That's it. Shout out to shout out to all my fans. Everybody that fuck with me. I love y'all. That's it. That's it. That's it. Lil Bam at 2X in this small fucker with me. God damn. Chaotic Vibes Podcast. IndioRadio.com. We signing off.